Imagine you are in a chorus dressing room at an opera house, and people are running around in their underwear, joking, telling secrets, and becoming a family. Her ample bosom spilled out over the top of her bodice, heaving with each breath she took. I'm Marin Montalbano, opera singer, coach, and creator of the Bodice Ripper Project. It was in the dressing room that I started writing Bodice Rippers, sexy, silly scenes for my fellow choristers as we waited backstage between scenes at the opera. Benedetta gasped in protest, and he took the opportunity to plunder her mouth with his tongue. But the more I wrote, the more I realized these stories meant something deeper to me. Tales of women who were unapologetic about taking their own pleasure, whose persistence through adversity is rewarded with a happy ending. These stories have played a part in healing some of my own childhood traumas. So now my intention is to tell these stories as models of strength through delight, so that you might be able to tap into the same well of confidence that I did. The mere memory was enough to make his nethers begin to stir. That's how the Bodice Ripper Project was born, as an exploration of sexuality, feminism, and the journey to self-confidence through the lens of romance novels. Now I invite you to come into the dressing room and listen to stories of love, sex, and silliness. Who knows? By the end of this, you might be tempted to rip your own bodice and let your true self out. The Bodice Ripper Project. Subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts.